just kidding. I didn't put an automatic in my car, but I did put a slipper clutch in my V160. Um, as far as I know, that's the only slipper V160 setup. Um, I just wanted to show you how it works and um, pretty much any manual car with a slipper clutch is the same principle. And there's a couple different brands of slipper clutches that you can get. Um, but that example that I'm gonna show you is with the base pressure on the clutch set very low. So it has a lot of slip at low RPM. And then the weights that I have set up, you can kind of tell that they start um, applying pressure at 4,500-ish RPM. Um, after that, I'm gonna change the base pressure, change the weights, and kind of show you what difference it makes driving on the street, as well as you can kind of get an idea of what it does at the track as well. my transmission v160 as you can see we have input shaft speed sensor right here helps me day log clutch slip we have a line here which is going back to the fluid pump right there and then feeding on the other side of the transmission and what this does is lubricate the gears that are located in the front of the transmission uh, the big issue with these transmissions i guess is uh as you're accelerating, all the fluid goes to the back and it runs the front gears dry. So that's to help with that, but moving on to the clutch. So that first video you saw is uh, set up just like this. The base pressure is very low. So the base pressure is adjusted right here where you saw me put markers here. Um, but basically you can kind of see the uh, plus and minuses right there. You put an Allen in there and depending on how much you turn it, you can set the base pressure. And then that nut and bolt right there you see on that arm, that's gonna be your uh, weights that you change. So the way this clutch works is the higher you rev it, oh, sorry, the higher you rev it, the more centrifugal force is applied. And with higher RPM, these levers start pulling away this way and they're applying pressure to the clutch discs. And this is a twin disc clutch. So if you remove this weight completely, you can imagine that it's gonna apply this pressure at higher RPM because it's gonna have less centrifugal force. Or if you hang you know, a lead bolt on here, it's gonna apply that pressure probably at idle. So depending on what kind of weight you put on and what you set on that base pressure, is gonna determine how the car behaves. So depending on what power you have, depending on how high you rev, you need to custom tune this to perform the way you want it to. And that's kind of where I'm at in learning exactly what kind of setup I wanna run. But for now, I'm gonna to try to get less weight on the, uh, the levers and I'm gonna turn the base pressure up a little bit and I'll do another video to show you how it drives, you know, just on the street compared to this very low base pressure that I have right now. This is a basic weight kit, so it's just different bolts, different lengths, washers, spacers. Some of these bolts are metal, some are aluminum. And I stole this from my wife. Basically just, there's six levers, so you need to get six nuts, six bolts, you weigh them, and then figure out how much weight you wanna put on. So what's nice about the V160 is this uh, big hole that you have on the side it allows me to adjust the base pressure with this little Allen I made and change the weights without pulling the transmission or making a hole in my trans tunnel in the car or any extra holes anywhere. So it's very convenient. As you can see, I can fit my whole arm in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this base pressure as well as uh, all six adjustments and the weights and we'll continue after. So now I'm gonna go for a drive with the base pressure turned up. Uh, it's not turned up that much because I'm still gonna go to the track. 
and it can be turned up way higher than this to make this clutch you know perfectly streetable so i'm gonna do the same thing go to second gear and then floor it around 2000 rpm noticed uh, a little bit less slip and like I said if uh, if I crank the base pressure up another two three turns uh, it'll drive like a normal clutch would without any slip and perfectly streetable and then turn the base pressure way down and it's acts like it's a 5,000 stall converter Clutch pedal on my particular setup, I'm using a hydraulic throw bearing. It's very light. I mean, it's probably like a stock clutch would feel in a Supra. And at high RPM shifting, um, it gets a little stiffer, but there's no issues pressing it down. However, getting the hydraulics and all the clearances correct is crucial in these because uh, you will have problems shifting, no doubt. So TX2K was my first time out with this clutch. Um, I barely got it to fit and barely got it in the car before the event. So I had to think a total of five passes at TX2K and without really knowing what I was doing, to be honest, and, and learning as I go with this clutch, uh, I was able to manage pretty consistent 60 foot times. So I think in five passes, I had a 132, a 136, a couple more 136s, I think a 134, but pretty much every time I came to the line, lit up the bulbs, dumped the clutch, and I did the same thing every time. Uh, I was fighting some wheel hop issues, but uh, I don't think that's related to the clutch. Either way, um, I think with some more fine tuning and kind of learning as I go, I can get the 60 foots pretty consistently to one twos where I kind of want them. And then um, do a Hail Mary pass and hopefully get to where I want to be. Um, but with this clutch, it's, I mean, it's a night and day difference. You can cut better lights as well, reaction times, because you're not trying to slip it with your foot. You literally just, just dump the clutch and it does it all for you.